Hi folks, welcome back to Alien Pro. I was gonna do this kind of vlog style and uh, there's hair in my mouth. Blit. Anyway, I um, was gonna do this more vlog style. Didn't wanna do a full on like production video for this, but um, it wasn't gonna work because the Rode Video Micro can't pick me up from as far away as I need this camera to be because I don't have a proper lens for this kind of setting. Got myself a new monitor. This is the Pixio. PX329, it's a 32 inch monitor, 144 hertz with free sync, uh, 1440p monitor. And uh, I needed a secondary monitor. I'm trying to like, re re uh, what's the word? Brain. I'm trying to clean up my desk. My desk has always been a point of clutter for me. And I've modified this desk a lot. It was a, an auto desk uh, or an autonomous desk rather. Uh, standing desk that uh, I've kind of Frankensteined over the years. I put a longer top on it um, and even though it's longer my desk is still always cluttered. So what I'm doing is getting this monitor is going to allow me to get rid of my giant iMac that takes up a ton of space on my desk um, and then I'm going to be building later a, uh, a Hackintosh in a small form factor to kind of help uh, further decrease the footprint of things on my desk so I actually have space to work and I don't feel like I'm you know, boxed in. Uh, I was originally gonna get a 27 inch monitor. However, this was on sale, relatively cheap, comes highly recommended. Um, I actually wanna give a shout out to the guys at Hardware Unboxed because uh, Tim does a lot of monitor reviews over there and this was one that he reviewed uh, last year and I took a look at it and I was really interested in it and I wanted to try it out. So uh, I went ahead and bought it. We're gonna try it out and see if it works on my desk setup, see if I like the uh, experience of this monitor and uh, yeah I'm kind of excited and hopefully this will help uh, further improve my productivity and help get me into a more creative mindset so I can start doing these videos more frequently um, I didn't want to do a full-on unboxing so we're just gonna kind of unbox this and uh, look at it and just get everything set up as we go I do have to say this as a 32 inch monitor this box is quite enormous Thankfully though, it does actually have tabs. I thought it was just stapled shut. And I was like, okay, I know Pixio had to cheap out somewhere. I thought it would be on the box, but not so much. Uh, it does appear to be on the styrofoam though. This is one of those days where I wish I had a dedicated filmer or videographer who could just get some up close shots while I do this because I can't do this and hold it at the same time see what we can do here I'm not a fan of doing this but come on thank you oh there comes stuff all right get that giant red box out of the way here pixel that's a manual and a ton of cables. Oh, let's see what we got here. Uh, this is stapled into the, that's a new one. Okay, let's see what we got here. We got power and yes, it came with a display port cable. That was the only thing I wanted. And I wasn't sure if it was gonna come with a display port or HDMI. It did come with display port, so I'm very happy about that. Are these the feet? Oh, I guess they are, yeah, for the stand. The stand which I will not be using because I am gonna be vase mounting, which I believe is what I need this for. Uh, get those out of the way. Will you let me get this out? There we go. Red team. Warning, make sure the monitor is not placed near any source of water, such as the bathroom, kitchen, or humid areas. Well, I live in Texas, so that's not likely. Yeah, now this was the thing that I was mostly uh, concerned about in terms of getting my desk all set up, is that it comes with a power brick, which it's not a super long cable. I really wish this had like mounting holes so I could just mount it under the desk, but it doesn't look like it does, so I might just have to shove it in the cage down there. We'll, we'll make it work. No vase mounting instructions, which is cool, because I can figure that out. This thing comes with a pretty solid stand. Like it's full on metal stand. 
I'll go ahead and set it up. I'm not gonna use it, but we'll set it up so it looks nice. It's like powder finish or powder coated. Nope, this way. Nope, this side. <laughs> All right. That was the only other possible orientation, so we got it. There's our stand. Set that there for now. Not gonna use it like I said, but there it is. Okay, get out of here with your bubble wraps and your stickers and your doodads. Let's get this baby open. St uh, styrofoam. Ugh. Mm. I will say this is packed rather nicely. Oh my God, that screen. This is so thin. I am not used to screens this thin. Even my TV isn't this thin. This is insane. Okay, hang on. I wanna make sure I don't break this, trying to make this work. So, how does this, how does this work? I'll move this over here. I don't even know if that's in focus. I do not know how I'm supposed to base mount this. Oh, it's so pretty. And so thin. I got fingerprints on it already. Little joystick here, which is out of frame. All right, joystick here for making all your selections. Please explain how to remove backplate. It does not explain how to remove backplate. Pixio, why have you betrayed me? This looks like, it almost looks like it, uh, yeah, it should just slide off. Maybe not. Gosh, I wish there were, oh, oh, okay, it lifts. Uh, am I supposed to just break this off? This is not comforting. All right, there we go, came off, all right. That just lifts right off. Uh-oh. Does this not fit? It's, it's actually bigger than the slot. Oh my God. At this point, I can't even like be sure I can return it if it's just gonna be all scratched up like this. Really? How am I supposed to get this in? Is this supposed to stay on? No, there's no way, because you can't get it back on. All right, that's threaded. I don't know how this other side's gonna thread. It's like, it's not. <laughs> oh my God, this is horrible. Yeah, we'll just, I'm gonna have to go directly on it because that ain't gonna do it. Now, I don't know if the thumb screws are gonna be enough for this one, but let's, let's try it. Let's find out. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> okay. Really? Okay, they thread. Because it can't thread directly on it, so it needs to thread through this this thing that doesn't want to fit. Oh, uh, am I gonna have to freaking RMA this just because it doesn't fit? This is quickly becoming a slight nightmare. A slight mare. Oh, this is really frustrating because this is really nice, but I think they somehow threaded the holes like crooked. It's literal like nanometers. <laughs> Let me try something. Let me see if I can use the screwdriver to just pull this over. It's like the shroud is just slightly wrong. All right, we're gonna stop because I think I have to like file this down. One eternity later. Okay, so I went to Home Depot and got a file and spent the better part of 45 minutes filing down the side or I think it's this side, this side and the top in order to get this black piece to fit. But it's finally fitting, which means we can continue. All it took was nearly an hour of manual labor. <laughs> oh my Lord. 
So now these don't fit. Unless this is for something else, but I can't think what. Let's see, are these the same thread width? They are. So let's see if these, maybe these are too long, but it, it's, let's try it. All right, see, and that thread goes way further. So, all right, thank you Vivo, who made the uh, Visa mount that I'm using because without them, I would not have the right screws for this. This is the screw that was uh, given, right? This screw right here was what was given. This is the screw that Vivo gave me and it is significantly longer if I put these two next to each other. Like, there you go. So thank you, Vivo. You made it possible to actually do this because I couldn't do it before. I'm still glad I filed this though because this piece still wouldn't fit or line up until I filed it. So it's a good thing I did. Okay, so it is now day two of what has now become a project. Um, I've actually got everything set up on the desk and I'm not happy with it. So let's go over this real quick. So we have black ice over here, which is great and all, but it's blocked off by this monitor. So what I want to do is ignore whatever email I just got. What I want to do is get this monitor on this side. <clears throat> the trouble is, I can't do that with the monitor arm A right there. And B, I can't do it with this monitor arm. Uh, so I ordered another monitor arm and uh, so we're waiting for that to come in. But in the meantime, I've got to get everything taken off the desk and everything from down here unplugged and uh, drill another hole in this desktop for when the new monitor arm comes so I can have everything set up on this side and it'll feel better and I can still see black ice while I work. So uh, let's get to it.
Okay, so day three of this now 18,000 year endeavor. Um, we've got a good chunk of stuff done on the desk here. Um, I moved the chair in last night because it was taking up space in the hallway. But uh, yeah, we're gonna finish today. And <laughs> I mean it this time. So here's hoping that uh, that we get finished because this took a lot longer than I thought it would. So let's just get back to it. So guys, here we are. Three days later, or I guess technically two days later, but this is day three of working on this. Um, and we finally got everything set up. So I have my 1080p monitor. I have my 2K monitor, which is that Pixio we unboxed way back at the beginning of this video. And we've got Black Eye set up over there with a little bit more room uh, on the desk itself than we had before. I don't know if uh, I got a good shot of it at the beginning, but it used to be that we basically had to have black ice at an angle just to get it on the desk. And that was a problem. So now it's actually flush. There is enough space. I don't know if you can see, there's a bookshelf over there. There actually is enough space in here. I can actually fit my hand in there. So there's plenty of space. It's pulling air from the front and from the bottom down here as well, which is now unblocked. So that's gonna help. And then we've got just more space to work here for you know, keyboard, mouse, any documents I might need to use, and some space over here if I need to uh, you know, work on a project over here or something like that. So uh, what this does mean is that I'm very likely not gonna be filming with this, um, this monitor as my backdrop uh, like I had originally planned. Uh, there's just no way to do it. With those new monitor arms that I bought because I was waiting uh, till I got the monitor to decide if I needed new monitor arms and trying to get it to work with the old monitor arms just was not working. So we got the new monitor arms. Unfortunately, they just can't get tight enough uh, with this window and wall back here because there's a, uh, what do you call that thing? A uh, windowsill. <laughs> uh, there's a windowsill there. And this is a standing desk, which raises and lowers all the time. So I always have to make sure I have clearance. Uh, and I just couldn't get them far back enough to make sure I had that clearance. So I can't keep this monitor flat. Uh, the arms just don't let me do that. So basically, this is the setup. This is what we're gonna be going with going forward. Um, realistically, if I could do it again, I would have mounted this uh, a little bit further to the left. When I was re-drilling that second hole, uh, I measured out nine inches. And that was because when I first just kind of eyeballed it and set it up myself, uh, it looked like it was too far over. Uh, and again, because I didn't have everything set up already, it was really kind of hard to determine that. Uh, so I went with nine inches. It was a little bit more conservative than what I had originally eyeballed, so I thought I'd be safe. Uh, and it, it wasn't really far enough. Had it been a little bit further, I might have been able to get away with a more, like, angled... <laughs> it's kind of hard to show you. But, yeah. So this is what we have now. Um, going forward, we'll see what this means for uh, the uh, channel and what changes, but I'm kind of happy with it. Oh, there's one last thing to do. Let me just get you nice and close here so we can do this together, shall we? <laughs> Gotta get that peel on. Uh-oh. <laughs> they actually... Huh. There. They actually put the plastic on before they put the screws. So the screws down here actually still have plastic on them. Oh well. 
So yeah, no more plastic, but that's it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, click on the subscribe button down below. If you liked this video, give us a like. If you didn't like this video, I apologize that you had to sit through however long this video was, because it's gonna be long. <laughs> Lots of time lapsing. Um, but yeah, maybe uh, leave us a comment, let us know what you'd like to change, or if you're even at all interested in seeing these sorts of things. I don't normally arrange my desk all that frequently, so this was a bigger project than I thought it would be, simply because, you know, I had to come up with something that was going to be useful and functional for me for a long period of time, so I didn't have to do all this again in a couple of weeks. Uh, so I thought I'd share that with you guys. If you're not interested in that sort of thing, let me know. If you are, also let me know. Uh, and we'll see if we do more like vlog style projects like this in the future. Um, but yeah, thanks so much. And uh, we'll catch you guys in the next one.